Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Into The Future Part 3. Um, I know it's been a super long time since I've made any videos, but that was due to me having to take leave for a while because um, something came up, both school and health related, and I just really haven't had the time to continue this Let's Play, and that has made me terribly sad because um, I wanted to do this more than, not, more than anything. And then I didn't even let you guys know that I was leaving. But to be honest, I wasn't even intending to leave. Um, I was not expecting all this stuff to happen in my life. And, um, you know, just things came up. I'm just going to leave at that. And um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be here. And unfortunately, I didn't even have a second to let you guys know that I would be gone. I promise that won't happen again. I mean, I can't promise that I won't leave, but... Um, I promise not to just leave you dangling because that is, that is pretty bad for the people that do actively watch my videos. So I apologize for that, but I'm back again. Um, I'm ready to catch up on this Let's Play and start on other Let's Plays. Maybe, um, even do Roaring Heights for the, the new world and the boardwalk venue and all that. So I've really got to get back into the game and I thought that um, I better start with Sims Into the Future. And then I will also be picking up my other Let's Plays, which have just kind of died at the moment. So I'm really sorry about that, guys, but um, I'm back. And that's that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, so um, let us go ahead and continue. <clears throat> we left off with Rose and Malcolm going into the future and... Um, they discovered this really cool living center, met that crazy time traveler man, <laughs> and um, basically, we're going to have them go meet their um, relatives and stuff, so that should be interesting. Um, <laughs> it's funny, he was actually flirting with this girl here, um, Amila, Amila Stone I think is her name, and it didn't turn out too well. I mean, it worked at first, and then they randomly got into an argument, so... I think I will leave her alone. Have him leave her alone. Anyways, let's go ahead and send them to their relatives or their descendants. Sorry, descendants. Oh, she's out at the moment. Okay, maybe we won't. Um, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We will find something else for them to do until they return home. Actually, it is on. Um. I was a little wish list here to look up Rose McFly on the Hollow computer. Apparently, you can look up people on the computer. Um, only people you know, though, which is kind of weird. I mean, it'd be cooler to do, you know, look up strangers and find information on them and stuff. But you can't do that. Um, I don't really know what the point of this will be, but we're gonna find out here in a second. So stop talking to her, cause oh, they're flirting. Oh, Ma, okay, so I guess they're no longer angry at each other. But whatever, we have other stuff for him to do. Um, it looks like he has white makeup on his cheeks. I don't know why, but it does. It's kind of weird. Just a little. <laughs> okay. This is taking just a pinch too long. Oh, you don't even have to sit down and use a computer, you just... That is so neat! So he stands up and he, it's basically a hologram. That is so cool though. Look at that. How neat. A hologram computer. So I wonder if he's actually feeling anything or not, you know. Well, no, if it's a hologram you won't feel anything. It's just air, basically. So weird. <laughs> That's really cool. So we get to see some of these activities in action. Not too sure what the bar over his head is for. I don't know what skill he's gaining from that, but um... Oh, look at this! All the girls are together making friends. Oh, that is so cool. So that is the TV. And um... Look at that. Isn't that neat? You can play video games on it and everything. How cool is that? <laughs> it appears that they're watching the romance channel right now. And on the side you have the weather and stuff like that. That is so cool. My goodness, this is freaking awesome. Okay, so we'll just let Rose make friends. Um, what? Did you... Okay, I guess he didn't really discover anything. <laughs> that 
was very, um, <clears throat> very unproductive. Okay, but you know what? That's okay. Let's check one more time to see if they're home. Yes, they're home. Awesome. Okay, we're going to send him and Rose over. Now that we've killed some time, let's, uh, get back into business. <laughs> Would you look at this? It's a hologram plant. How cool is that? Too funny. Okay, um, sorry to break you up from your little friend gathering, but, um, you need to go meet your descendants. And I'm actually really excited about this. I'm curious how it's all going to turn out. It's going to be so interesting. Oh, that's right. She has a jetpack. I wonder if she's going to use it. No? No, are they not used? Oh, come on. No one wants to use the taxi. Whatever. We'll have her use her um, jetpack after we meet the descendants. And then uh, poor Malcolm here will just have to use taxi or something. <laughs> That's a pretty neat taxi, though, you have to admit. Going around town style. So we are going out to this barren place of nowhere. <laughs> like, there's literally nothing out here. Hold on, I want to see something. I'm curious what's up on that hill. This place is so big. I feel like it's bigger than most of the other worlds. I mean, look at this. It extends all the way up here. Okay, anyways, before we lose track of them, let's go back here. And they're here at this dirty little hole <laughs> where some girl is using her hoverboard. And what are they doing? They're all getting out? No, no. You're going to stay here and you're going to meet your descendants. Look at that. They're already hitting it off. How cool is that? Go, on, go ahead and ask. Go and stop. Okay, what is that? <laughs> and why is it making weird little sounds? What What even is that? Is that like a, hologra a holographic Furby? Duh, I can't even speak. Hologram, holographic, whatever. Whatever. Both relates to the same thing, kind of. One's past, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm so all over the place right now. Okay, so their house is very unfuturistic. It looks like just a typical modern day filthy, unkept house. <laughs> but, um, I guess that's what happens when you're really, really poor. Which is kind of a shame. No, don't practice chess. Go meet your relatives. Jeez. So we're gonna have her go talk to someone, and he's playing chess too. Stop it. Stop it now. What's in there? Oh, so you can ask to stay with your descendants if you get to know them. That's cool. So wait a minute. Is that their only bed? And this is a family of like four. No, there's five, I think. The other person's out. Because when we were looking for descendants, there were more. Oh, wait. I think they have a downstairs. Do they? Look at that. They do. But no beds. So, um. They have one bed. <laughs> I wonder where everyone else sleeps. On the floor, I guess. Couch and the floor. Well, that's horrible. Yeah, we definitely need to change the future. We need to make these people rich. This is this is just sad. Irma is in Bookor. Interesting. I wonder if like they give you all the same descendants in this game, or if the descendants are completely. Um, like in the beginning, when you first start playing into the future, or the descendants are um. It's completely random, or they're created by um, your own Sims genes, if that makes any sense. What I'm talking about right now, because that would be pretty cool if, when you create Sims, then Sims, your descendant Sims, all relate to the kind of traits and genes and whatever your Sims have. That would be so neat. Which explain why they both have like the same hair color. Oh look, he has the same hair color too. They all do, I think. <laughs> Poor Malcolm, he's like not a part. Of I don't see any descendants that look even a bit like him. How sad. 
I want them to at least get to a friend status because that would be pretty cool. Let's see if there's any new interaction. Hung, hug, long, long lost descendant. Blah. I cannot pronounce. Talk about family history. Let's do that. Talk about family history. What else do we have? Joke about poor descended family. Joke about sizable descended family. I don't know. Will we can trouble. Divide by Sua. Here. Let us. Why is this not working? Come on. Goodness, no. Uh, let's go ahead and joke about Portis and family. I hope that doesn't anger her. But I'm just curious to see what her reaction is. And right now they are talking about family history. How sweet is that? Um, Rose McFly's life choices created a legacy that resulted in her descendants being poor. She can start a new legacy by changing her traits, household funds, and owned real estate. Interesting. Rose learned that Irma has a good sense of humor. Okay. So interesting, yeah. So if I change her li life completely, then their life will change completely. So we're going to have to try to do that. Um, what other what other actions can we find? I don't know. I think that's good for now. I just want them to get get pretty friendly. I guess we'll have to settle with um acquaintances for right now. Worry about friends later. What's this? Uh, you unlock the intellectual pursuits. No, no, no. Come back. Uh, pursuits achievement and earn a badge. Oh, I don't think that's part of into a future. We're not going to worry about that. <laughs> now, what are you doing? Oh, he's... That's why. Oh. Did you stop messing with that? Go talk to the kid. Let's get to know everybody in the household. I mean, you are related to them after all. Uh... Let's see. Let's that's interesting. He can't joke about descendants or talk about descendants. It's like these aren't even his descendants, and um, he's brothers with Rose. So this makes absolutely no sense. Well, no, I guess it would make sense. I take that all back completely. Because, um... It must be from Rose's family. Like, you know, she gets married, she has kids, and it goes down this whole long line. So that must be what happens, though, still. Does he not, like, have any descendants in the future? Any? None? Zero? None? Okay. That... That sucks. <laughs> but, um, that's fine. We can, we can deal with that. Oh, look at this. She got a, um... God, it's been so long since I played the game, I forgot what it's called. A uh, moodlet. <laughs> Learned about family tree. Rose always enjoyed learning about family trees, but now that the family is pa uh, family's past is her own future, it's doubly exciting. Oh, and it disappeared. Did not last very long, I'm afraid. Okay, so um, it's getting pretty late, so we're going to have her leave, actually. Uh, Malcolm can get home on his own. The reason I'm not going to focus on him at the moment is because actually I want to try out Rose's jetpack so we're gonna use that right now oh wait no you know what he can stay because they have food and since he's a guest he can eat their food we'll take Rose to a diner or something I just want her to try a jetpack um and I would like to do so in this let's play before it gets any later okay let's see where are we gonna fly to where are we gonna fly to? What's this legacy park? Oh my god, I'm like so excited. I can't wait to visit all these places. Which we will do in the next Let's Play, obviously. There's no time right now. She's gonna be too tired to do so. Join Botterina career. No, we should, um... No. We should have him join that career. <gasps> yes! Attend bot building class. Yes, he's going to do all this, but we'll wait till tomorrow to do that. It's um obviously, you know, late in the sim day for that right now. So the next sim day and next let's play, we'll do that. Uh, what's this? Lowell's Lounge. 
I just want to know where I can go to get food. That's a spa. Oh, here we go. That's a food place, but what's this? An observatory. Astronomer career. That's so cool. You have all these new careers. Well, she's a logic person, so we will probably have her join this career. And um, he'll join the bot career. And that should be... What's this? Engineer a baby? Oh my goodness. Be admitted for time sickness. Be admitted for instability. Oh my goodness. That is too funny. What else do they have? What's in the science lab? Nothing new, I see. Okay. Um, let's take a quick view over this place. Another lounge. Not too sure it's in these lounges. So yeah, this is basically the entire city, what we're seeing. We will actually explore the venues at a later date, of course. Oh, it's all solar. Solar stuff. Um, let's go ahead and just get her to eat with her with her jetpack. Oh no, no, don't eat with Groove. No, I want you to fly here alone. Fly here. There we go. Sorry, you're gonna have to ditch your group. Whoa! What? Is that it? Is that, oh, is she stuck in the ground? What? Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I just want to make a couple com comments on this right now. I have both... Uh, both, um, complaints and compliments. My complaint would be of how short that trip was. Um, because she, you know, you see her zip up and it's so fast that you're actually not sure what you see. And bam, she's down. That's it. She's there. You don't get to see her fly across the town. Now, um, the good thing is that it's quick. I mean, it's bad and good that's quick. I mean, it's great that, you know, they could be there instantly. But it also kind of sucks because you don't get to see them fly there. I mean, it could, be st it could still be a quick trip. Not instant, but I'd like to see them actually, you know, travel up in the sky with their jetpacks. So I'm a little bummed out by that. Um, that landing was totally worth it, though. That was that was great. <laughs> that was very, very entertaining. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed that you don't get to see them fly. So, oh, we need to get them a hoverboard so they can go around town on that. That'd be great. Anyways, we're going to have her eat here. A manja. Don't worry about your group. What are you doing? She's texting her or something? I don't know. Oh, this is a fancy place. <laughs> she still has her jetpack on her back. Oh, that's too funny. He's gonna get fat because he already ate. And he also has to really pee, so he's probably gonna wet himself. This will be, um, very, very interesting. The futuristic city of Osa's Landing has many options for transportation. Would you like to know more about futuristic travel? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and click this only because I'm curious what... Oops. Don't mind that. I just playing against the desk. <laughs> um, I'm curious what else there is besides, um, you know, jetpacks and hoverboards and taxis, cars. Uh, to stop using the wind carver, click on the inventory and choose don't use instead of walking. Okay, so wind carver, that's what they're calling the um, hoverboards. I'm just going to say hoverboard because... That's what they called them in Back to the Future, and, you know, that's why I know them by. <laughs> um, jetpacks. Oh, and then the, the Zephyr is what they call it, which is like the, a monorail or a subway or something. Okay, so that's basically it in cars. I thought there was going to be something else, but nope. Which is cool, because, um, transportation that they do have is pretty neat. We'll definitely try the monorail thing, even though you can't, like, or sorry, the Zephyr or whatever it's called. Even though you can't really see anything because your sim's just going to walk in and walk out of the next station. But still, you know, you got to do everything. Oh, it looks so pretty at night. All the, like, white buildings. That's so cool. I swear, it looks so much like the capital from the Hunger Games. It's it's crazy. I on it, Honestly, I think that's what they modeled it after because, um... What's that? Oh, time portal. Uh, because that movie and the books are all the rage, so. You know, that that's a good way to cash in. <laughs> Model it after something a little familiar. Not a little, a lot familiar, but, I mean, 
it's not made to look exactly like it. It just has that essence, obviously. Um, did she ever eat? No, she didn't. She was waiting for him. Well, how kind. I waste time, but uh, how kind of her. What a good sister. So we're going to fast forward this and let them eat. And then they're going to go home and hopefully if there's any beds left, hopefully no one snatched all beds, we will have them sleep. And we'll end it there and um, continue the Let's Play in the next someday. In the next someday, I'm going to have them go take some classes for their skills, which will be rather, you know, uninteresting and boring. But then I'm going to get them uh, to apply for jobs. And hopefully the following day after that, or whenever their jobs start, we will get to see some of the interesting perks with that. And it's actually going to be really cool. I know it is. It's going to be so neat because um, they're new careers. I'm always excited when there's new careers added to the game. It adds more depth and more to expect and more to achieve. I don't know what I'm going on about anymore, but yeah. So it will be pretty fun. I want her to get into astronomy and I want him to get into bot building. Obviously. Okay, so let's see what's available. Um, those beds are all empty right now. And upstairs. Ooh, those are cool, but they're taken. Now, before someone steals this, I'm going to have her go sleep. Oh, she can also dream. No, he took the bed. God dang it. Never mind. She's... <gasps> Wait, I could chase him out. No, go sleep there. <laughs> we're going to chase him out. And uh, we're going to have him go sleep here. Don't, don't play on the computer. Go to bed. Go to bed. And you can take that freaking jetpack off, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we still need to go over the legacy statuses, which we will later. Um, maybe next let's play or let's play after that. I just, I'm running out of time right now, so we can't worry about it. What's going on? Following the leader? What? What? No, don't follow the leader. Go to bed. I don't care if your bed's taken. You go there and you wake that jerk up. Go on, run. Run and wake him up. Yeah, see, all the beds are taken, so she's got, like, nowhere to sleep. Or, well, I mean that bed, but I'm giving it to him. So, yeah, she's got, like, nowhere to sleep, which is really unfair. Uh, technology from the future requires time and patience, Master. Would you like to know more about Master? No, I think, I think we can figure it out. I have faith in myself to do so. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to bed, and, um, what, what did you do? Oh, she got thrown out of that deal. Oh, my goodness, girl. Girl. The dream pod has the power to shape dreams that can positively or negatively affect the Sims day. That's awesome, except I hope it doesn't negatively affect me. What? You can't sleep in it? Oh, my God, wake him up. Um, would you like to know more about the dream pod? No, we will figure it out by ourselves. Stop it. Go sleep in the bed. Take that bed. Take that bed. Take it, take it, take it. Take it by force. Sounds a little weird, but do it. <laughs> there we go. And she's got it. Okay, so they are tucking in. And um, they are going night-night. We will see what interesting dreams they will have in the morning. But anyways, so um, they're tucked in, they're asleep, and um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off right here. And we will continue this Let's Play in Part 4. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in Part 4. Bye!